Brady then. I'm going to record this takeoff again because it's kind of cool. And I'm going to fly the mission. Once I get everything working right. Over to Amazon. I haven't flown in about a week. Trees are moving a little, so this might take a while. It's going to take off on its own. Zero feet altitude. There you go. Speed distance. Zero miles per hour. 99% battery. Off we go. I'm going to do this with one hand. Yeah, hey, good speed. Just watching it from down here. Pretty good speed. Haven't been out all week. Feet feet distance. 14 miles per hour. 95% battery. Weather's been bad, lousy, windy all week. Today it was windy pretty much most of the day, but it calmed down. See, it's hitting the headwind now here. It's going to go slow. It's not too bad, though. It's more gusty, not sustained. I got the little Mavic Mini Pro, mini mini guy in my pockets. The thing is so small, you can pretty much bring it with you anywhere. I was thinking about flying it around here, but it's kind of late and it's kind of cold. But I haven't really tested 299 it. 299 feet altitude, 1,518 feet distance. Out in the open. Miles per hour, 91% battery. I was going to go to the cemetery, but... I decided, nah, I ain't going to go to the cemetery. So there's a good wind up there now. It's flying straight into it. Let's see what my weather report says. Winds, 9 miles an hour. Gusts, 21 miles an hour from the northeast. And it just so happens to be flying. Well, that's pretty much west, sort of. Let's pick it up a little bit. 300 feet altitude, 2,324 feet distance, 8 miles per hour, 87% battery. Fucking pharmacy keeps calling me. I ain't got time for that. That's really slow. Five miles an hour. I'll give it a couple minutes, another minute or two, and if it don't start going, I'll kick it into jet mode. Just want to get a trip around the building. Maybe a um, a still shot from a time lapse lapse sequence. I'm gonna just stop for a quick second. Two hundred ninety nine feet altitude, two thousand nine hundred forty three feet distance, zero miles per hour, eighty two percent battery. Readjust the focus. There we go. Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's focused. Because you can get... The, the picture can get distorted a little bit from the reception. 
Oh, the sun's coming out. And you can't tell if it's the picture or if it's actually out of focus. Another voicemail from Walgreens. I know I have to get my prescription, I understand. Leave me the fuck alone. 299 feet altitude, 3,646 feet distance, 12 miles per hour, 78% battery. Very slow here today. Oh, the sun's beaming now. I'm gonna probably wind up getting in the car, turning the car on, because it is cold. Five miles per hour, seventy five per cent battery. I'm probably going to cut this short because it's kind of pointless. February, March weather sucks. There we go. The heat on whip. Nice, real slow look at the building. It looks like they covered that back corner. They got a lot of progress done on the roof. These guys are kicking it. I haven't flown since Sunday because the weather's been so crappy. Boy, my hands are cold. 300 feet altitude, 4,865 feet distance, four miles per hour, 67% battery. Now it's gonna pick up a little bit of speed. Yeah, that was painfully slow. Then I'm gonna let it do one little around and then I'm going to take it up to the corner and I'll probably just fly it back by hand since this is going nowhere fast it's going to change direction here it's probably going to pick up speed big time but when it's got to come back around this way again it's going to slow down Feet altitude, 5,092 feet distance, 25 miles per hour, 63% battery. See how fast it's going there? It just jumped up to 25 miles an hour. I don't see the treetops moving either. That's why, you know, I can't really tell when I leave my house. I can, you know, I see what the, um, the app's pretty accurate. UAVs. It tells you, it's supposed to tell you if it's okay to fly or not. 
which half the time it's kind of stupid because at midnight it'll say it's good to fly when you shouldn't be flying in the dark <laughs> but it does goofy things like that see it's got the wind to its back now see if I had I was going to originally take off from the cemetery I thought about going over there and I could have with that tailwind 299 feet altitude 3,499 feet distance, 25 miles per hour, 59% battery. It would have got over there in no time, but it might just have uh, taken forever to get back, and that would have sucked. Because it could run out of gas. And then I get to go hiking, looking for a fucking drone in a fucking cornfield. So when it gets around this turn, I got 57, 56% battery. I'm going to go in my corner. Looking at the map. Where are we? Yeah, it's got another... Turn and a half to go. Feet altitude, 4,035 feet distance, 12 miles per hour, 55% battery. I take these pills because I have a um, AFib condition and <clears throat> it can cause you to like, uh, gain water weight and that what it does is with the AFib it tends to you, if, if you retain feet fluid the way I do 4,555 feet distance 4 miles per hour 51% battery it's all the part of uh, the fun of growing old aging <laughs> But, like, I retain fluids, so I have to take this medication called Formosa, I think it is. And what it does is it makes you pee a lot. Because when I went in, I had my lungs were filled with fluid about two years ago, and I was in the hospital for a week. And they put me on this drip, drip thing, and it made me pee, like, every five minutes. I mean, constantly. And I wound up losing, like, five pounds of water weight. <clears throat> but I take it, and then... It, it makes you pee a lot, but like, say if I go outside and it's cold, I get the sniffles and my nose runs, and it's like, Jesus Christ. Like, every, any way to get water to come out, it comes out. Yeah, I better. 300 feet altitude, 4,816 feet distance. Mission ended. Zero Gonna miles abort. Per hour. 45% battery. I'm going to go to my corner. Get my position. I'm looking at the map. That's how I know where I am. Exactly. All right. Now here. My reception is not good inside the car right here. So there's... I'm having trouble getting it where I want it. 300 feet altitude. 5,347 feet distance. Zero miles per hour. 40% battery. So one of these will make my still. Alright, 39% battery. I guess I'll come back. I'll go the long way. Uh, 
right across Hawk Attack Alley. So to make a long story short, 4,577 feet distance, 36 miles per hour, 34% battery. The cold weather makes my nose sniffly and runny, which is gross. Got 40 miles an hour right there. the pond's frozen it, it's cold today but we had a couple of days where it was like in the 50s 299 feet altitude 3257 feet distance 38 miles per hour 26 percent battery warning aircraft battery at 25 percent time to bring them the wind is uh, a factor but it's not far away. Got 40 miles an hour right there. Warning, aircraft battery at 22%. From here, I'll let him cruise in on his own. feet distance, 23 miles per hour, 20% battery. Warning, aircraft battery at 20%. Aircraft battery at 17%. One hundred eight feet altitude, three feet distance, zero miles per hour, fifteen percent battery. It is pretty much exactly where it took off. Warning, aircraft battery at 14%. I come down right there, next to the car door. The pastor's here, his truck is back there. Hmm. Warning, aircraft battery at 13%. Yeah, it kind of, I've tried to move it over a little bit, but it was landing rather urgently. So, how long was that flight? Let me see. 19 minutes, 30. Pretty good for the wind. Won't complain. So, I guess uh, nice to get a flight in for the first time in the week. Amazon is doing fine. And I'll probably get out tomorrow. I think the winds will die down. So that's all I got for today. Do you know about?